All right, people, Catfish Dave here. My last skipjack trip was a flop, so I went to the store and bought me some pork chops. We're gonna put it on a hook, see if these catfish will give it a look. I did catch two skipjack and one small white bass, but that just wasn't enough. So here we go. Uh, there's already a million and 25 videos using chicken. Uh, you know, people's kind of burnt out on catching catfish on chicken. So we're going to have to catch him on the pork chops. If pork chops gets more views, then that's the bait I'm going to use. I'm going to throw some cut bait in the mix, and that will let me know at least that there's fish around and whether this is good bait or not. So we're going to put skipjack for now on the center rod. I'm going to throw some uh, pork chop on this planer board. A viewer told me they use this stuff and then it stayed on the hook better than chicken. I've got a small white bass, only caught one of those. I'm going to put it on that planer board on that side. I want to see how it does as well because you get far enough into post-spawn, that seems to be a really good bait. Yes, sir. Another strange bait video is in the works. We're officially fishing and this time we ain't using no chicken. I think one reason the chicken videos aren't as popular as they used to be is chicken is no longer cheap. Someone told me that these pork chops were cheaper. I don't think so, because that one pack of four was eight dollars and something. Ain't nothing cheap no more. That's what's in the news, and I don't really care as long as I get me some views. I've had one small bite on the skipjack, another small bite on the white bass. The pork chop ain't got no bites yet. The day is still early. Not really, but we still got a couple hours to fish. By gosh, we had a bite on that pork chop. All rods are even so far. That was the best bite of the day on the pork chop. Skipjack's been hit, white bass has been hit. That pork chop has survived three different bites, so it must be a little tougher than the chicken, because those small fish would take that chicken right off there in one peck. First fish landed was on that white bass. They've got it chewed up pretty good. 
I might have to cut it up, get a better hook on it. First fish landed. White bass is getting most of the attention. There went that piece. I've got one piece left. I need to check that pork chop because it did get hit pretty hard that last time around. That last bite got that pork chop off. We'll try it again. The pork chop has not caught a fish. But the skipjack hasn't yet either. They've both had similar amount of bites. There's one on the skipjack. They are running very small today. And I'm going to get that bait back because I don't have a lot. Well, we just hooked up on a pork chop. I guess that's the smallest fish so far. But we did catch catfish on a pork chop. I'm going to put this back on there.
fish. It's just a little fatter than the pork chop fish. Either way, this is three on the white bass. They are running small today. That fish there might have eggs in it. That's two for the skipjack. That's a bigger fish there. Respectable fish there. That's why I like to use white bass when we start getting into the summer. That was my last piece of it. Much heavier fish there. Yeah, big old wide headed thing. Oh, shoot! We got one on the pork chop. Got one on the skipjack too.
Just about a triple there. Definitely a double. I do believe the pork chop fish might be a little bigger than that one. I don't know. There we go. That's a decent one on a pork chop. No better than the pork chop fish. It's on the skipjack. Things got a little chaotic there once we ran into some better fish. Now we're really going to give the uh, pork, pork chop a chance because we're going to have it on two rods. All right, y'all, we're now running pork chop on two rods, middle rod and that rod over there. Skipjack head all the way on the left, we're out of white bass. All this talk about pork chops, I'm hungry. I've got some uh, ham salad there in the cooler from the Publix. That's on the pork chop. Never let me finish my food. Skipjack head.
Santa for the nip. Fixing to turn the boat around because I've got a course set. Yeah, it's not a bad one on the skipjack head. Straighten out so they can see you. Ain't gonna do it. Got my head back. Go ahead and turn this boat around. Y'all, on these spread and planer boards, if you see them riding a little funny, this bar here, I stepped on it a while ago, and he's got it made to where you can step on this thing, and you could bend it down like that. Well, you just bend it up. You want it at a slightly down angle like that, and it'll, it should ride perfect. But yeah, you can step on these things and just bend them right back. Some guy in every video keeps asking me where I got my net. I got it at the Big Fish Outfitters. Uh, it, it's a locky. It's made by Locky Nets in Knoxville. I think this is called the Beast. Uh, they've got different versions of the Beast. But there's a lot of good nets on the market. This is just local made. Well, that didn't take long on the pork chop, even going down river. Yeah, on the pork chop. I got a good mind to cut one of them open and see if that's eggs. If it is, that means some of these are still going on the nest. I guess we won't worry about it as long as we're catching fish. Whether they are or not going on the nest, it ain't changing nothing. What we do know is they will eat a pork chop. Woo! On the pork chop! I can get that pork chop back out of there. Yeah. He ate it. I'll reuse it. It's definitely tougher than chicken breast, I can tell you that. Maybe not as tough as the white bass, but it's tougher than chicken breast. We're ending up with quite a few catfish on these pork chops.
pork chop. Look at that skinny post spawn fish. Yeah, all scratched up. All right, y'all, it's almost six o'clock. I want to have time to go to another location and hopefully catch some white bass. I still have one skipjack that I haven't used today. But uh, these uh, pork chops were $8.70. And I've still got a half plus a piece left. So for around $4 worth of bait, it caught the catfish that it did. People that think $4 is expensive. I've been to these bait shops and bought night crawlers and minnows and all that stuff. You'll walk out of there broke after that. So it's really not that expensive. Not if you figure in the amount of catfish that it caught. Seemed to be about as good as using chicken to me. My first time using it. I may experiment with it some more this summer. Bait gets a little tough to get sometimes, and I may have it on a rod going through the summer. We've already burned out the chicken videos. Now we're going to the pork chops. Either way, this is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.